Several women have allegedly been reported to police over emails they sent to the Girl Guides Association concerning their policies over gender identity. One Twitter user said that she had been contacted by the police for a friendly chat after the woman had emailed Girl Guiding. She asked if anyone else had had a similar experience. Now, in the emails, people have been demanding clarification from Girl Guiding, the largest girl-only youth organisation in the UK, about new appointments of trans-identified male guide leaders. Some of the concerns around one leader is about the guide leader's social media activities, such as posting inappropriate pictures on Twitter, in one of them posing with a gun, in other pictures the leader's seen in sexualised poses. Now, joining me to discuss this issue, I have uh, Graeme Linehan, who's the comedy writer who co-created Father Ted and Black Books and the writer and director of the IT crowd, uh, and the barrister Sarah Fillimore. Uh, welcome both. Thank you for joining me. Thank Hello. you. I'll come to you first, Sarah, if that's OK. This is a very complicated story, and I think a lot of people don't really know what is happening when it comes to girl guiding. And what, why is there any kind of controversy around this issue? What's happened? We could talk for an hour. I'll try and keep it simple, <laughs> assuming that a lot of people don't really understand what the hell is going yes. on. I think we can trace this back to 2015, when Stonewall added the T for transgender to the LGB mm -hmm. and made that part of their campaigning focus. The difficulty is, however... Most people, I think, still consider transgender to mean transsexual. Yes. So a man who wanted to be a woman really put a lot of effort into it. Yes. Including often surgery to actually change their body. But then it's a very new thing that's developed. A man, most trans women appear to be men who have done nothing to yes. their bodies by way of medication or surgery. They have simply declared themselves to be women and the expectation seems to be that they will be treated as such. And this is, this is gender self-identity. So you, you yes. say, I'm a woman, and then, and then people treat you as such. It's, yeah. it's the sleight of hand that has swapped sex for gender. Yes. And you could go back even further to Gender Recognition Act, which actually muddles up sex and gender in the same section. Yes. And apparently that was done quite deliberately to pave the way for this kind of confusion. Because obviously sex and gender are completely different. Yes, I think people are very confused because when you ask people about trans rights, most people say, yes, of course, we're for equal rights for trans people and that people, people can identify however they please and, and they can change sex if they want to change sex and go through that procedure. Uh, and that, that, I think, is muddying the water because this isn't about mm. that, is it? it could, no. you, could you explain why safeguarding is an issue on, on this? Well, that brings a slap of, up against safeguarding because if you muddle up sex and gender identity, what happened was that the Girl Guides then said they were trans-inclusive so they, they would welcome trans women. But if the trans women that they are welcoming um, don't have to make any changes at all to their male bodies, yes. then you're effectively inviting men into a single-sex institution. And that's got implications, not, not just for safety, although clearly women are much more at risk of harm from men than men are from women, yes. but it's also issues about dignity and providing a space for girls and women. So the two women who complained about that, I think, were just summarily chucked out of the organisation. Both took legal action. That's been rumbling on. And then we suddenly, it reared its head again with the activities of somebody, I think, very senior in the, in the organisation, a guiding commissioner, who is a trans woman who I think has had breast surgery, yes. so has some accoutrements of being a female, but remains a man and has published um, online pictures in bondage gear, fetish gear, brandishing guns. And one woman who wrote to say, I'm a bit concerned about this, <laughs> yes. um, found her letter forwarded to the police and she was interviewed under caution. Yes. And this is astonishing. And I can't believe, I don't understand why people aren't taking to the streets. So we've got two issues here. So we've got the, the Girl Guide leaders themselves who were thrown out of the organisation for mm. raising concerns about this. And we've got the parents who complained about seeing images of a, mm. of a scout leader, male an anatomy, with guns and se sexual posts. So whatever you think about, you know, that could have been a, a party outfit, it could have been any, something in their private life. But the point is that for raising concerns, they were contacted by the police yes. and the, as a result of that. The issue, it's not about being transphobic and saying, oh, it's a trans person, how distasteful. It's saying this is somebody willing to transgress boundaries in public, somebody who's working with children. Yes. I think the guides go all the way down to preschool. You're talking about possibly four up to 18. Yes. Willing to put that stuff out online. I assume that's part of the, the thrill of it. But people who were rightly saying, this is a bit concerning, okay. found themselves accused of hate.